Hello and welcome to TPC Scarpacci, the host to this year's Amiga Dubai Desert Classic, the fourth and final tournament in January on the European Tour 2015. Let's have a look at some of the course details. This course was created by Antonio Scarpacci and added to the course listings on the 8th of October 2014. As you can see from the screen at the moment, it is a desert course and it's purely fictional, so not based on any real course. Par of 72 and a huge yardage of 7,144 yards. Unusual for a desert course, the green speed and firmness of the course is medium. Let's get out onto the course now, do a few holes and see how we get on. Hole number three, the first of the par fives, 565 yards. Tee shot's going to be threading the needle in between these two bunkers in the fairway here. Hopefully with the wind behind you should be able to push it through those bunkers into that wide open area of the fairway. Dog leg to the right on your second. You're going to be playing over these trees if you're going to be attacking the green on your second shot because the pin is tucked right on the left hand side so it could be a tricky shot you may want to be drawing this one into the green. Okay, so we haven't got too much to speak of in the way of wind, so we are going to be playing it in between these two bunkers. So this is going to be a tricky tee shot. But that looks like it should be straight enough to stay in the fairway. Over the first bunker, shy of the second. 281 yards, so it's going to leave me a fair old shot. 275, but I don't think that's going to be reachable. I think if you add the wind behind you off the tee and you could push that 300, 310 yards, you would have a decent attempt at this flag. But you need to hug the right hand side of the fairway to give you a good angle on the green. So what I'm going to do is I am going to probably drop this down a club, play into the heart of this fairway here and then leave myself a nice little pitch into the green. That looks like it should be good enough, which it is. That's going to give me a good angle on this flag. All right, so we've got 57 yards, two feet uphill, 55 yards sandwich with pitch shot should be exactly what the doctor ordered. I should check out nicely. That's going to leave me about a six footer, seven footer for a birdie. Just get this speed right. That's it for a birdie. Hole number seven, 455 yard dog leg right par four. Question now is, do you take on the trees in the bunker on the right hand side there to try and shorten your second shot into the green? I would imagine that is going to be completely reliant on what the wind is for you when you play this course. If you do manage to get over the trees, you've got to make sure you don't run out into that bunker. Green's fairly large, pins right in the back right hand side, so you can lay it up short and roll it up to the flag, shouldn't give you too much of a problem. Okay, so the trickiest bit of this particular hole is, if you have a look at this, really small landing area. Now we do have a bit of elevation change. If we go back to the T you'll notice that that is significantly lower so it does give you a bit of a distorted view here because if you push that forward it is suggesting that you're only just going to make the fairway. But I would suggest with the drop off the T we should be able to make that fairway fairly comfortably. So I'm going to take a little bit more of this rough here on on, on the right hand side here because I think that is going to be closer to the middle of the fairway. And it's even taken any even more, but you'll see here that is comfortably landed in the middle of the fairway. 287 yards, 160 yard 160 yards to the flag, 159 with a slight drop towards the green. 
We've got the wind slightly into our face, but it's not a big wind, so it shouldn't pose too much of a problem. So I'm going to go straight with a 7 iron, and if the wind does hold it up a little bit, we should get a bit of roll up to the flag here. little bit of roll. Nice. So not too much to speak of in the way of problems on this hole. You should be able to get a birdie. The final hole on the course. A par 5 and it's the longest one of the par 5's on the course. 589 yards. Lovely wide open fairway for the tee shot here. Got some trees on the right hand side but they shouldn't come into play because we do move off to the left. And as you can see here you're going to be aiming to that protrusion of the fairway there and then playing across this wide expanse of barren land but into this massive green and the pin is right in the heart of the green so shouldn't have too much of a problem here. I would have thought it's all going to be dependent on the wind and whether you can reach this in two. Okay, so you can see with the driver here, it does stick you into this really narrow area here. I would have thought if the wind's going to be around about, um, if the wind's going to be around about 10 mile an hour and it is behind you, you should be able to get all the way down into this section here. But because the, the wind that we've got at the moment, we're going to be aiming for this little sort of narrow section here, between the rough on the left and the bunker on the right. Nice and straight off the tee. I think that's going to hold up fairly quickly. 270, 200, almost 280 yards. That's going to give me almost 300 to the flag. We do have 15 feet of difference here, or 15 yards of difference in the elevation. So that's 280 yards to the flag. We've still got to carry all of this. Now the question is, and this is where it comes down to the wind, do you take that on? I'm not going to take that on. I'm going to come over here and show you guys what to do when the wind is not in your favour. Alright, so I'm going to leave that as a three wood and I'm going to come right into the heart of this section here. So this is the way to play the, five, uh, the par five from a safety perspective. If you're chasing a really low, low number and you've got the wind in your favour, you do want to be attacking the flag. But not in this case for us. Right, so we've got a 75 yard lob wedge here. 76, slight wind, a little bit ball below our feet. Should be okay. do nice and close oh we don't want it to spin back too much it's going to be about 10 feet 13 feet uphill so it does leave you still with a birdie putt but you could be having an eagle putt if you do reach the green in two so final hopefully the final putt of the round not quite in for a par to finish up Okay, overall impressions, as you can see from the scorecard, I had a really, really mixed bag on this one. Pros and cons, the pros for this course, it's been set up with medium greens. I think that if the greens were fast on this, it would be quite a difficult course. In fact, it would be very difficult, but with the medium greens, the ball checks up quite nicely. means that you can attack the pins, because then a lot of the greens on this, on this particular course, the pins are tucked away quite tightly. So I do like the layout of the course, it's nice and open, gives you a lot of options on a lot of different, different holes, means that you have, to do, you have to lay up on some where you can attack flags on the others. I think how you play this course is going to be down to one thing, wind, all right? Depending on how the wind is for your particular round will determine how you should play this course, whether you play it conservatively or whether you attack the flag. The cons to the course, I would say, it's probably not enough in the way of hazards on the course. Even though there are bunkers, 
they're very few and far between for a desert course. For some of the other ones that you played earlier in this year's schedule, you'll notice that a lot of the desert courses have a lot of bunkers. This, the bunker layout on this is more like a Parklands course or a Lynx course. It's not so much a desert course. So that would be my only con for this particular one, and that's me being overcritical. Guys, this is the final tournament in January for the European Tour 2015. Make sure you end the month on a high note, shoot low, and I will see you out there.